You're listening to 7-Minute Stories with Aaron Califato. This is Season 3. Hey, everybody. So I'm sharing this week a story with you that's very close to my heart for a very special reason. So I originally released this story in Season 1 of the podcast. It was titled TCBY, A Love Story. And it centered around one of the first dates and road trips that Corey and I went on. I'm laughing because just thinking about it, I asked Corey early in our relationship to go on a four-hour road trip with me to Michigan to get frozen yogurt at TCBY. Now, TCBY, the frozen yogurt place, was in Ohio when we were growing up, so we had nostalgia about it and loved it, but there's no more TCBYs, at least around us. And the closest one I found was in Michigan near Ann Arbor. So I was like, you want to go get some frozen yogurt? And she was like, yeah, let's go. And so this story you're about to hear is really that first incarnation of our love story and a road trip in which we kind of found our possible future together. I recently told a one-minute version of that story on my Instagram, my TikTok. What else is there? My all those places. So if you haven't followed me on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, just look Aaron Califato up and you can see the one-minute version there. And that one's accrued over a million views. So people obviously love a frozen yogurt love story. So I thought it was appropriate to share with you this week because of that. But most importantly, the ending of this story, and really maybe the start of a whole new love story, has already culminated this past weekend. So you're probably hearing this. It's April 6th. On April 1st, no joke, Corey and I got married. And so it's kind of like this really full circle moment of when you hear this story and you hear the end, we just got married. So now we're on a new chapter of our continuing love story. And it's a really beautiful thing and thankful for her, thankful for you listening, taking some time a few days this week to enjoy the the festivities and the wedding kind of coming down from this whole experience. And I'll talk to you next week with some more stories. But for now, enjoy TCBY, a love story. It's getting warmer outside. The last couple of weeks, it felt like spring, almost summer. And the only thing I can think about is frozen yogurt and ice cream. Such a nostalgic pastime. I remember going as a kid and it was like you were a king. And now as an adult, I love how accessible it is, this experience of getting a cool treat with your kids. I mean, if you can find a couple of quarters underneath your car seat, doesn't matter if you're rich or poor or working class or whatever. If you can cobble together a couple of extra dollars, you can make your kid feel like a king or a queen. And you have this really connective experience and it's usually in the summertime and it's the stasis where things finally stay still and the weather's great because you know in the fall things are going to change. People are going to go somewhere. They're going to move somewhere. They're going to go to school. Lives change after the summer. So this intricate connection between ice cream and frozen yogurt in the summer created this heightened experience for me. And it was almost as if time moved slower. I really think it did because of how cold the material was. When you take a lick of a cone or a, or a spoonful, it's so cold unless you want your brain to freeze. The act of doing it, the act of having an ice cream forces you to observe things around you in between the licks or the spoonfuls. And you have to see that person sitting across from you. Your mom, your dad, your loved one, grandparents, friends, or maybe you just look out into the sky and you see the sun going down. And it's like a pink or an orange that you can't even describe. And it just encapsulates a moment that you'll never forget. That's why I love it. And you want to know what else I loved? I loved this little place called TCBY. And my favorite flavor of all time was called Golden Vanilla. Not regular vanilla, not vanilla bean, Golden Vanilla. And only TCBY had it. And it had this very smoky aftertone 
caramelized flavor. It was so sophisticated. It would just dance on my palate. I was addicted to it. I would go every time I could all the way up until almost high school. And that's why I was devastated when I found out that the TCBY in my town was going out of business. They were closing up shop. Where would I get golden vanilla? No one else carried it. And years afterwards, I would ask people, do you remember that flavor? No one remembered. Nobody, friends and family, it wasn't on the radar. And I thought maybe that would just die in the recesses of my memory. But I would never forget. And that all changed when I was on my first date with my now girlfriend, Corey. And we were sitting across from each other. And we're looking at each other. We had been friends for 13 years, okay? And grew up in the same town, had similar experiences, been friends through high school and beyond. And now we were at a different point in our life because both of us had just been through divorces. And now we're sitting across from each other as friends, but we're emotionally available. And I'm looking at her and looking into these clear blue eyes. It's hard to describe. And my heart is pounding and this it's happening. I'm starting to feel like I'm falling for her. And I'm like, this is the first date. What are you doing? You're an asshole. It was so connective and I felt like she felt the same way, but I couldn't really say that. And the conversation was flowing and I I felt so vulnerable. I didn't want to get hurt again. I I had a kid now and I had that to think about. I didn't want to, I didn't want anything to go wrong, but I couldn't stop this sort of this feeling that was happening. And so in panic, I decided I was going to start asking these value questions. I figured, okay, if I'm going this way, if my heart is gone and I'm already, I'm already, I'm already in this thing with her in this quick of a time, then I better start asking some pretty intense questions to make sure this is the right thing. And the first thing that came to mind was, I said, Hey, do you remember TCBY? She looked at me, her eyes got really wide and she said, of course I remember. It was one of my favorite places. Now my heart is pounding. My palms are sweaty. I said, okay, that's great. But I have one more important question for you. Do you remember the flavor called golden vanilla? And she said, of course I remember golden vanilla. She said, I'm going to be honest with you. It wasn't my favorite flavor, but I remember it. And and I had it many times. And at this point, I knew that this was the woman that I was in love with. And then it only got better from here because then she looks at me, she takes it to another level and she says, well, when's the last time you've been to a TCBY? I I said, probably like 10 years, more than that. She said, we should go. I said, where is there a TCBY? She goes, let's Google it. She finds it. And she finds that the nearest TCBY is in Ann Arbor, Michigan, right outside of it, about four hours from where we're at. She goes, you want to go on a date there? I said, now? She said, yes. I said, you want to go on a date right now to Ann Arbor, Michigan? She goes, yes. So we get in the car and we take this road trip, which is incredible. Time flew. I bared my soul. She bared her soul. It felt like 20 minutes. We pull up to the TCBY. It's just as I remember it. Neon lights. I walk in. I'm nearly in tears. We're holding hands at this point. I feel like I'm 15 years old. I walk into the TCBY and there it is, the golden vanilla with the silver handle. I say to the lady, I'm going to get some golden vanilla. I said, you wouldn't believe what this means to me. She goes, all right, dude. And I get this plastic cup and I put the golden vanilla in and I'm sitting across from Corey and she's got hers. I got my little plastic spoon and I take a bite and it just doesn't taste that good. It doesn't taste like anything that I remember, or maybe I just had a limited palate when I was younger because it just didn't taste like I remembered. And I was sort of disappointed in this moment. And Corey looked at me. She goes, it's not the same. I said, it's not the same. She goes, maybe it never was. I said, maybe. But what I do know is that this journey for the golden vanilla, this TCBY odyssey, took me into a place and connected me with someone now that I felt like I was meant to be with. And as I looked up from my frozen yogurt and caught her glance, I realized it put me in a place right across from her that I never wanted to leave again. Sex 
Seven Minute Stories is created and performed by Aaron Califato. Our senior audio engineer is Ken Went. Our resident artist is Pete Whitehead. Original music by TJ Duke. If you or your company needs help starting a podcast, Aaron and Ken's company, Valley View, does just that. Reach out to them at valleyview.fm. Special thanks to our partners at Evergreen Podcasts, and I'm Corey Burse. Make sure to tune in next week for another story.